There's a lot of witches and warlocks out there trying to put curses on you. But you got the Holy Ghost, ain't no weapon formed against you, shall prosper. How am I how you most shot? Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you got the food workers up there, jealous of you. Are they trying to do food on your marriage? Because they don't want to see you happy in your marriage. Sometimes it's your so-called best friend walking right next to you who might be your enemy. Everybody laughing in your face is not your friend. Jesus is my friend. Woo! I said the Holy Ghost. I said Jesus is my best friend who sticks closer than a brother. Sometimes you got enemies even in church. Everybody speaking in tongues ain't real. Sometimes you got folk up there running around the church and doing devil worship. It takes more than just running around the church. The devil can run around the church. The devil can sit in the pulpit. Pulpit means to go in the pit and pull the people out the pit. There's too many work shadow preachers who are begging for your money, putting people in the pit and not out the pit. That's a false prophet. I don't preach for money. This preacher you don't got to hate. I ain't got no collection plates. The love that God wants to give to you is for free. You already paid the price on the cross of Calvary. And you don't need no LSD. Jesus can set you free in the year huh, of 2023. Whoa, hallelujah. All, re all God requires is repentance. All God requires is holy living. A lot of preachers won't preach holiness. All they want is money. Yes, we need money. But we're not supposed to worship money. The Bible declares in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, that the love of money is the root of all evil. It didn't say money is evil. It said the love of it. God understands that we need money to pay the rent and the bills, to take care of our families, but don't worship money. I see what the greed of money has did the preachers, worshiping money. There was one African preacher down in Africa out there telling women to take their clothes off. What kind of preacher is that? That's a playboy preacher. That's a pet preacher. And then women was dumb enough to take their clothes off for the pastor. She and the pastor's going to hell. Then we got pastors are they laying hands on a, another woman's breast. What kind of mess is that? The only one is supposed to be laying hands on her breast is her husband, not the pastor. Playboy pastors. The playboy pastors are going to hell. Respect the women. Respect another man's wife. Respect another woman's husband. If you know she's married, stop chasing after a married man. Get your own man. Come on, come on, come on. Living in days, we got women that chasing after a, after a married man knowing he's married. Honey, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But at least we're trying. So long you're trying, that's what God sees. God understands we're not perfect. God understands we make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but God loves you. If you got a problem with alcohol, God bless you. That's okay, you can. Sure, you can, my brother. That's good, my brother. Thank God for this young man right here. And thank God for you. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has a problem, but God is a problem solver. God can save a drug addict and get, it, and get you out the attic and make you a preacher. God can save a drug dealer if you call on the faith in Because maybe the reason why you're on drugs because you've been depressed. You might have got molested. You might have been sodomized. Or you might have been a foster child. Or your father might have disowned you. No wonder you've been depressed. You look like nobody understands. But God understands. God, thank you, my good brother. We love you, brother. And God loves you more. Thank you, my good brother. I love everybody. I love whites, blacks, Indians, Chinese. Let's love each other and not hate each other. Let's encourage the young people. Young folk got it harder. Let's inspire them to Jesus. And let's respect our elders. Let's respect our elders. Let's respect the old people. Old people respect the youth. Youth respect the elders. And don't go around shooting your elders. The Bible said, God, God bless you, young man. I'm glad to see you, brother. I see greatness in him. The Bible said God called the young because they're strong. He called the old because they know the way. I'm about to bring this thing to a close. But we thank God for your word that went forth today. Somebody got molested. I can feel it. I'm going to pray that God will heal your broken heart. Somebody been sexually abused. I can feel it. 
I can feel your depression. God heal her, God heal her, Lord, heal her, Lord. Somebody want to commit suicide, don't do it. God got a great plan for your life, don't do it. These gang stalkers that go around doing gang stalking, move the gang stalkers. In the name of Jesus, too many gang stalkers doing witchcraft and doing all this demonic stuff. Let your angels, God, be in the atmosphere. Shut down demonic forces. This is war against the devil. Destroy Satan. Your kingdom will come down. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be peace in the atmosphere. Let it be love in the atmosphere. Protect our young people. Protect them, God. You must be saved or to make it to heaven. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you don't need to take no drug overdose.